Versus Zelda on deck. Okay, I'm starting in Smashville. I feel like this is definitely a stage where both the characters like. I know Zelda do like this stage in some matchups because they get the fandom out and the fandom pretty much goes on the stage. And I can imagine Min and Min's like it because you know Min and Min's. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not too privy on Min and gameplay, uh, so like, you know, what do you think of this matchup in the meantime? Um, I can only really talk from the Zelda point of view. I mean, it's hard to say. I'll say this. Um, Min Min probably has a better time dealing with Phantom than most characters just because his arms are very long. And so that whole walling out process with uh, Phantom. So it's so. Ouch. Um. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry to cut you off. I just wasn't so that <laughs> I wasn't you honestly, I, I don't think Yo, okay, yo, do something. Do something. Give him the hand. Yo <laughs> Alright, alright, get my new keep talking, I'm sorry. <laughs> yo <laughs> So what were they saying? Oh yeah, so Phantom, obviously it's used to wall out. I think Min Min probably has the arms to kinda go through that and challenge that Phantom, but at the same time, at the same time, Sourdough is out here giving him the hands with that Chill Breaker F smash. Did that just kill oh. like that? Was that a Nair? That was the, that was a heavy ball Nair. Holy, holy grief. Okay, um... Oh, you're gonna get... Oh! Okay, oh. Okay, good. That, that's something that I've seen before, right? Um, I've seen the minion players do stuff like that in Ritual. Um, to try to get different angles. I, I've tried to- I've, I've seen minute players do that in neutral, to either A, get out of situations, or B, use that as a means to get better angles on people's numbers. So, that's something that I have seen to do that in that, um, super jump in neutral like that. Oh, wow. Sourdough, man. You can talk about that combo, though. It's pretty- it's pretty clean. That down air into Phantom earlier is just- it's just the most beautiful way to make a statement. Mm -hmm. And I think something that um, something that I'm seeing here when it comes to Minmin is that Minmin's out of shield options aren't that great. Because I just saw Sour though up tilt his shield twice and all Minmin did was pack away. Um, uh, yeah. Also, good kill. Also, good kill. Good teleport. Just anticipating that arm reaching sourdough. Seeking the safe option. Ooh, that up was a little bit risky though. Yeah, I feel like Sour uh Sourdough's getting a little bit overzealous. So I feel he he caught Min Min a couple times mid-stage throwing out like a smash attack and teleporting the punch for it. I think right now Sourdough's getting a little bit overzealous to trying to do that. And Slam is kind of punching the portrait. Right now, Slam just took a whole stop and a whole hundred percent with Aldo trying to recover and punish him. Punish them for doing whatever they're doing. <laughs> that, 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 that was miserable. And you know what it is? I think, oh, oh man. Oh. You know what? I, I think that I think that kill pretty much summarized what I was about to say. So I'll just let that be speak. Yeah. I don't know. So, like, just in the middle of the game, Sourdough just said, Okay, well, I've been catching you by teleporting at you mid-stage, and all Slam did was like, Okay, well, I'm just gonna take a step back and forward smash. Like, <laughs> that's, that's pretty much what he did. <laughs> and so, um... Oh, Aqua, thanks for the raid, by the way. Well, let's go. Yeah, let's go, Aqua. Aqua, it was uh, it was the you know, regular at some point, but um, she uh, took a break. But now it seems like she's back. So, go on, Aqua. Do. Yeah, like right there, man. Like, stop doing that, bro. Like, let's play neutral. <laughs> and, I, and, and you know what I think it is also a little bit is that not not wanting to be against the ledge against Minmin because Minmin does have a lot of linker hitboxes. 
um, at the ledge. So maybe Sardo was a little spooked because of that and just didn't want to deal with the ledge. So he's like, well, I'm just going to press forward and take you out of your arms. So I'm smart. Um, but, uh, yeah. Let's go crazy go to now. I'm getting finished as well. Maybe Kalos? Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, immediately starting out with the teleport. I feel like there's a theme going on right now. <laughs> it's the main theme of the match, just teleport. And like right off the bat. Maybe I'll teleport cancel? I'm not sure. Um I, I think so too. Is that true combo? Uh I think it might be. I'll, I'll finish on the Okay, good on Star Dell going to the ledge. Yeah. So right now it's like once one thing about Tarado is like once Tarado gets into their pocket, that mid-range pocket is like really comfortable. It's uh, just like little trouble there. It's kind of tough to get out of that situation. So, like especially you see this rhythm going. That's zero to hundred percent just by putting zero to death just by putting slam at the left. That is amazing. That is probably some of the best Zelda Ledge play I've seen in a while. That was fantastic. Yeah, and Sam coming back and punishing with the heavy ball. Where's the heavy ball in there? Just... Ah! Whoa! Okay. <gasps> <laughs> How much percentage did I do? Oh, oh, man, that heavy ball forwards and I did him with 35%. Okay. Oh, good. That was a good punch. Let's go on through that. Uh... Like that. Excuse me. See, this is where it gets difficult for Zelda, because like, if she sticks on platform, then Min Min can just curve her arms up, and if Zelda tries to approach on the ground, all of a sudden, she's kept out by these arms. So all she can really do is like keep up the Phantom Knight as like, a shield and as like, a wallet option, and hope for the best. <gasps> That's not fair. <laughs> There is no reason for that. Hey, good stuff by um, Arado getting through for the arm. So, so, fun fact about the arm, right? Like, there's no hitbox on the spring portion of it, right? So if you, if you dodge the whatever coily thing that's coming out of you, you get a punish after that, you know. Oh, that's good. Yeah. That's what Arado just did. Arado just did a jump over. And that's how he got the Yeah, just like whenever you're trying to jump out st on stage as Zelda, you just have to, just have to hope for the best. I would say at this point, go for the teleport, but not like that. Uh... So right now, like it just what Slam is doing. Yeah. Okay. So what Slam started to do was that. He was forcing, he was forcing, um, Sourdough to go low, right? So Sourdough was going low, and Slam, by utilizing the super jump, was covering so many options high, because Slam was doing the jump beam all the way down, and it covered, like, a really, really large radius, right? Uh, and forcing Sourdough to go low, to the point where Sourdough went to recover, and missed time to recovery, and you died, right? And also putting on shield pressure with the heavy ball. The heavy ball seems like it has like a lot of shield spend. I don't know, like the plus minus on it, but it seems like it still puts a lot of hits on your shield. And up smashed, I know is fast. Heavy ball is such an intimidating attack. And right there, the up smash reflector was unnecessary. Do you think that was on purpose? <laughs> I know it doesn't matter because it worked. So I can only speak from a Luigi slash hit point of view versus Min Min. Um, but that said, I feel like this kind of applies to all characters. The goal to beating Min Min is stopping at least one of those arms in order to be able to navigate around the second arm. Because this is what happens, right? When you try to put out a defense against the first arm, what does Min Min do? Min Min puts out that second arm. And so you get punished for that defensive habit. And so the best way to do that is to have that ability to challenge that first arm. 
Okay, Every, everything I just said, just thrown out the Bro. window. Okay. Don't tell me at all. Hold on. Just Bro. go through. That super jump we were talking about. That super jump just punished Zelda going high and two fumbled her into death. Wow. You got oh. it! Okay. Right, wow. Wow. This, this is unbelievable. Like, I, I, I just put out an entire thesis statement on how you can navigate around the second arm, you can find your way around it, how you can challenge it, and then Slam just does this. I, I honestly just think Sourdough got flustered a little bit. Um, after the first stock, especially. Sourdough just got flustered. Yeah, Sourdough just got flustered. Um, because after the first stock... Yeah, that's a... Bad yeah. hold for it. Yeah, after the first time, this is a camera shot right here. Man, man. I love that. Oh, what, was, what was that? Like a minute and how long? Okay. Six Yo, minutes. Oh, about a minute. That game's about a minute, bro. Yo, he. 70 like... mid stage? Yeah, I mean, that's like. Yeesh. Slam's popping off right now. I, I know it. Slam's probably in a room and would be like, yo, check it. Watch this. Back throw? Okay, that was kind of cool. You know what? I I'll give him that. That was actually kind of cool. The the a B and then catching. Yo, that was so today. good. That was so good. That was really good. Yeah. That was probably the highest thing I've ever seen from a Like, that was really sure. cool. For sure. That was actually sick. I love that. And just... I don't know. I think at that point, Sourdough was like, oh, how do I get back on stage? And Slam was like, yeah, if you get back on stage, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to put out that smash attack and kill you at 70. Oh, man.